Hey guys, I'm Jessie, I'm a musician and I'm from Bern, the capital. And I'm more of a country girl. I'm Laura. <laughs> and we are your hosts. Welcome, Welcome to Switzerland. One of the most beautiful things you can do in Switzerland is going wild in nature. Crystal clear lakes, spooky forests, snow-capped mountains or dizzying suspension bridges. To go wild in Switzerland, that's very easy. Before you head out on your wild adventure, here are a few basic items you need to carry in your backpack. Good hiking shoes should cover your ankles. That's very important. In the rain. Rainy days. Awesome. You should be prepared for any weather situation. It could be raining one second and then suddenly, bam, beautiful sunny sky. So what else is there to pack? This knife is life-saving. You open a beer, manicure, you carve a wooden stake against vampires, light a fire, mm, maybe not. But a phone, maybe? That would be actually a good idea, but doesn't work either. If you have all of this equipment, then you're ready to go wild. Really wild. Wait, where am I going to sleep? That's easy. You can either stay in beautiful hotels or you can stay in the popular SAC huts. Remember to book a place in advance though, in the peak season. It's certainly not a five-star accommodation, but it's charming and really down to earth to sleep in a room with 30 people side by side. Just remember to take earplugs and a silk sleeping bag with you. Another popular option is camping. Campgrounds are often situated out of the way by a river or an amazing lake. Wild camping is not really allowed, but it's tolerated in wide open mountain spaces. It's permitted only in the mountains above the tree line and only in specific areas. If you want to camp somewhere, ask the farmer or the owner. If he waves a pitchfork like this. With a pitchfork. Just kidding. Farmers are mostly very kind. And if you buy something in their farmer store, you will win their heart. There are no dangerous animals, except for the TikTokers. I'm just kidding. The ticks in some woods. Ticks can be dangerous because they can transmit infectious diseases. So wear long trousers in the woods. Yeah! Bears and wolves are coming back to Switzerland, but they really don't like people. What they do like though is eating. As do I, I'm starving. What should we cook? What about a typical Swiss dish with some greens from the forest? With some wine from the Valle. It's perfect. Good night. Good night. In the next episode, we'll show you how to travel through Switzerland on a shoestring.